Hey, it's David Elder, and today on Texas Eats, we're traveling around Central Texas looking for delicious restaurants you won't want to miss. First spot on today's foodie adventure is at a ghost kitchen just north of downtown San Antonio, slinging up some amazing burgers. Now we're just north of downtown in San Antonio to go check out a ghost kitchen concept that's making some amazing burgers. Let's go inside J Dub's Burgers and Grub. Joining me now is Chef Jeff White out here at J Dub's. I mean, this is your name, it's your spot. Exactly. But uh, why come up with this concept? And um, you know, you've been doing burgers for a while, but why this place? J-Dubs, my name is Jeff White, J-W. So <laughs> J-Dubs comes naturally. There you go. Uh, J-Dubski, whatever you want. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, this concept's been in my, it rolled around in my, in my, in my noggin for about uh, three or four years. Recently, I hooked up with, uh, with Chad Rosenthal out of Philly, and he's given us a chance to uh, make this happen. Is this burger that you have here kind of a play on the traditional burgers that you've had at different spots or is this a whole new idea? This is this is a hybrid of, of what I've done and uh, and also what uh, what Lou has done. And talk to us about your partner real quick for people that don't know they don't know Chef. I mean tell uh, us what's going on. Chef Lewis, Chef Lewis Cologne. Uh, he owned Folk, uh, Bear Pub. Uh, just recently he was a, a director of culinary at uh, La Cantera. Right. Uh, I'm going to jump in here. I want to take a there, bite man. out of Get this. Get in there be somebody. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tagline out here. What's going on in this burger? What we got here? Uh, you got uh, two all beef patties, uh, two four ounce. So that's an eight ounce burger. Uh, each each slice gets two uh, two slices of American cheese. You've got onions, tomato, lettuce, and pickles. And pickles are house made. Nice. That's a bite right there. And get in there. House-made pickles, that Martin's roll that you could only get from Philly. The burger patties, the cheese, the pickles, everything that's inside of this burger bite makes it one of the best you can find in San Antonio. My goodness. It's just the quintessential burger bite that it you is. want. It is. I mean, you get you get all the crunchiness from the top and the bottom, and you get the juiciness and the cheese right, 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 right there in the middle. The patties you're using on here, mm -hmm. is that just salt and pepper or just straight It's just salt and pepper. But Chef, we're gonna get uh, Chef Cologne out here. You we wanna it, know more about what he's doing out here exactly. with you guys. I mean, this is phenomenal, and I'm excited to dive into these other two sandwiches. Joining me now is the partner out here at the restaurant, Louis Cologne. Thank you so much for having us Absolutely. out here, Absolutely, thank you guys, thank you for coming on. Now, Folk. Yeah. Bear Pub. Yeah. Two of one of like my favorite burger yeah. spots in San Antonio, yeah. and we're not able to get those burgers right. anymore, right. so I'm super excited when I heard that you were the partner mm -hmm. out here. Because now we get that influence onto some of the sandwiches that we have out on the menu. But I want to know, like, what's your take on, on all the, the kind of ghost kitchens happening around San Antonio? Well, I think it's a good thing. Uh, you know, with the coming out of this pandemic, 2020 was a rough year for a lot of people. So uh, Ghost Kitchen allows us to uh, share a kitchen with uh, multiple streams, multiple venues, multiple ideas. And then we get our piece of the pie, you know, uh, J-Dubs, bring our little... <laughs> little piece of uh, what we did at Folk with Bearpaw. Yeah, a little, yeah, sprinkle, a little of sprinkle of fun over there. there. Yeah. yeah, give me some more love. Thank you, man. Appreciate this it. This is where it's at. I'm gonna finish eating. Um, this is this is a lot of food. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Now we're here in San Antonio near Government Hill to go inside of a restaurant that's serving up amazing cocktails and some authentic Mexican food. Let's go inside Cerveceria 88. Joining me now is Brianna Tran. She is a server out here at the restaurant in front of us. We got all kinds of beers that are dressed up, cocktails, and of course the food. So in this fish taco, um, we have tilapia fish, we have cabbage, queso fresco, avocado, and it's drizzled with uh, chipotle ranch. I got big hands, this is a big taco. I'm gonna take a bite. Mmm. Woo! Give me some elbow. There you go. Mmm. I love that. I love it too. Mmm. The fish tacos come with a corn tortilla, but they also have the avocado on there, so it's a little bit of a creamy bite. All that fresh cabbage on there, a little bit of avocado. I mean, everything is so creamy. It's so well balanced, and the fish is nice and flaky. They didn't want to do fries, so they decided to do uh, chips. All right, I'm gonna take a bite. Mmm, ooh. I love the sauce that's on there. The onion, cilantro, I mean, it has a little bit of like an acidic bite to it, a great crunch. 
And it's nice and salty. It's exactly what you want from a chip. So we have your American burger, uh, yellow cheese. You got your bacon, uh, red onion, lettuce, just super American. <laughs> <laughs> America. Y'all, this is no joke. Check this out. That's bigger than my head. I'm gonna walk away from that. Woo! Oh, that's good. I mean, this thing is big. It is a big burger, and it's got a lot of flavor. If you want to order something huge, I mean, if you put this down and a beer, you're taking a nap in the back of your car, I guarantee you. <laughs> we got the Volcanes uh, deep fried ribeye uh, with queso fresco melted, um, you know, cilantro, onion. We got your uh, avo avocado and uh, our house sauce. All right, so this one, I mean, you just go for it, right? Just go for it, yeah. That's how you gotta do it with this one. <laughs> Look at this. And that's, is this just cheese on the outside? Yes, and what I also wanted to mention was they wanted to really do the Mexican uh, street city vibe with this. So Yeah, so this is authentic. like the way, you, this is the authentic way you yes, get it. Yes, what you would see out in Mexico City. Look at that, all kinds of meat jammed in there, cheese on the outside, little tostada on the bottom, I'm going in. Oh man. Big chunks of ribeye in there. I mean, I, I mean, I'm tasting like, is there like chicken too? There's just, there's like a little bit of everything going on there, right? Everything going on <laughs> and the cheese. There's a lot of cheese. Yes. You got this dish right here. What's going on? Chicharron de ribeye. So we got the deep fried chicharron. We got the um, avocado, onions, jalapenos, tomatoes and um, four corn tortillas. So, you know, you could share it with your friends if you just right. want a little snack. Take a bite, the chicharron de ribeye. Wow! The chicharron de ribeye has a really nice texture on the outside. You load that up on the corn tortillas that come with it. A little bit of guacamole that's on there as well. Put a little bit of that salsa on there and you're in business. We got awesome drinks. So this is the Love Potion. This is my favorite drink, uh, Deep Betty grapefruit. Uh, pineapple juice, uh, grapefruit juice. It's just so fresh. Cucumber martini? Cucumber martini. Ooh. Now everybody, when you get anything with cucumber and liquor, sometimes it's a little harsh, but this is perfect. Very perfect. Sweet and sour, Ooh. tangy, fresh, perfect. You also have a couple beers that are dressed up over here, but overall, cerveceria, I mean, this is where it's at. This is great. Brianna, thank you so much for having us out here. Grab some good food for lunch, come back with friends for dinner. You get the great drinks. Cheers to you. Grab your love potion My love there. potion. <laughs> this is your drink. <laughs> there you go. Woo. Come on out here, y'all. This is where it's at. I love this. And it's it's like, it's no, but it's still kind of like a hidden gem in San Antonio. Hidden gem. Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now it's time for the featured restaurant of the day. Now we're here on the northwest side of San Antonio, right near the rim, to go inside of a brand new taco spot that was made here in Texas. Let's go inside Velvet Taco. Joining me now is the director of operations out here at Velvet Taco, TJ Jones. At Velvet Taco, we are globally inspired. We're scratch, we're gourmet tacos. So you won't find Tex-Mex here, and that's intentional. Okay. There are no borders in this restaurant, so we take flavors from all over the world, use the tortilla as our vessel, and create beautiful tacos. So, so that's our chicken and waffle taco. So what we've done is the tortilla is actually a pliable um, waffle tortilla. <laughs> and we do a red chili aioli base, an apple slaw, fried chicken tenders, bacon, uh, peppercorn gravy, and chives on top. So it is a meal in a waffle tortilla. What am I eating? Yeah. That is really good, but that's like crazy. Yeah. All of the tacos and the items here on the menu at Velvet Taco have a global fusion flavor to them. So when you take a bite, it's not gonna be Tex-Mex, but it's gonna be delicious. So this is our fish and chips. We've got our base of fries tossed in salt and malt vinegar, slaw, and then we have a fried cod topped with a curry mayonnaise actually on top. That is 
so give me some elbow. Wow. We've got a grilled salmon here. Um, so it's gonna be our, our corn tortilla. It's got an avocado crema base. It's got slaw, grilled salmon, mayo crema, house-made corn pico. Ooh. Those Fresnos on top are pickled in-house. So those are pickled for 24 hours before we slice them up. Nice. And then a little bit of micro cilantro on top. So light, fresh, some heat from the Fresno peppers. Oh, man. Give me some foot on that one. That's what's up. There you go. So this is our number 12. It's our Angus brisket taco. Ooh. So as you can see, the tortilla is a cheese encrusted tortilla. So <laughs> we, we slap some gruyere on a flat top and put our flour tortilla on top so that hard cheese really melts into the tortilla. And so when you bite into it, you're gonna get a lot of crunch. And then we've got a red chili aioli base to provide a little bit of heat. We've got our certified Angus brisket that we marinate for eight hours and then roast for another 20. And then we top that with our queso blanco, avocado relish, and then micro cilantro. That brisket is money. Wow, it is so tender. Um, and I love the crunch on the outside. The little cheese pasta, those little, that's the good stuff. Mm. Spicy tikka chicken taco. So a play on a uh, chicken tikka masala. So we've got our flour tortilla. We've got a buttery cilantro rice. We've got our two chicken tenders tossed in our spicy tikka sauce. That's topped with our raita crema sauce, which is a yogurt-based sauce with some cumin, some other herb flavors, topped with a fresh Thai basil leaf. I love what's going on. It's a little tangy. It's got a really nice little spice to it. The rice is super tender. It's cooked perfectly. Mm. Last but not least, our number one buffalo chicken. The, the base is a ranch crema. We've got fried chicken tenders again, tossed in our house-made buffalo sauce. It's gonna be topped with blue cheese crumbles. And then it's got spiralized carrots, as you can see on top. And the little wow. green, that's micro celery. This one is phenomenal. There are so many different options of tacos on the menu. You're gonna find something you like, whether it's seafood, chicken, beef. I personally love the brisket taco. That's the reason why I would come back seven days a week. This is our elote corn. So it's our play on, the, on a Mexican street corn. That's the bite. This queso is actually our curry coconut queso. So this is our crisp tots and local egg. Our chili butter, cheddar cheese, we toss that. We add some avocado crema on top, herb goat cheese, and some bacon, and then a sunny side egg up. Oh my gosh. Uh, That's the bite right there. That looks amazing. In front of me, we have a paloma. So we take tequila, lime, agave, and we have some Jarritos grapefruit on that. We've got our ranch water here. So we take Topo Chico, we've got your classic flavor, we've got lime flavor or grapefruit, and we add that same tequila, um, agave, and lime. So that's our red velvet cake, it's in our name. This is our one and only dessert. You gotta try the cake out here. It has a cream cheese frosting on there, red velvet cake, loaded two layers. I mean, it is over the top. That is fantastic. Velvet Taco is right near the rim, but you also have another location opening up soon, right? Correct. Right. So near the Pearl on Grayson, we're going to open that up on March 22nd. <laughs> it's coming. Back to back. Here. Cheers to you. Cheers. Thanks for coming out. We of appreciate course. it. Of course. Thank you. Velvet Taco, y'all. It's here. Texas Eats. Now we're traveling up to Fredericksburg, Texas to go inside of a barbecue joint with the Hawaiian influence. Let's see what's on the menu at Lockenvelder Barbecue Bar and Grill. Lockenvelder Barbecue was opened by Kainua Cosper a chef looking to open a family-style restaurant showcasing food from around Texas with the Hawaiian twist that she got from her father. But I love Hawaiian food, and I like to cook with it. My kids have eaten it all their life, and I thought, well, it's mine. Let's throw it out there. I mean, the sauce has got a Hawaiian flair to it. Everything we do has a little bit of Hawaiian flair to it. 
Kainua and her family are serving up Texas comfort food, including scratch-made biscuits, mac and cheese, beans, and slow-smoked barbecue. When you come to Fredericksburg and you go to Lock and Velder, you're gonna get a lot of different options on the menu. Some things are changing, but some of the staples that are on there that you gotta try, baby back ribs, brisket, and then this right here. This is a brisket cheesesteak sandwich, y'all. <laughs> They're not playing out here. Freshly chopped onion and peppers get sizzling on a flat top. Then, handfuls of chopped brisket get added on top. Homemade pepper jack cheese sauce get scooped on top of everything. And two slices of provolone cheese finish it off. The meat and cheese mixture gets nestled between a toasted hoagie and slathered with mayonnaise. Over the top, straight out of the smoker, put into the middle of this sandwich. I'm ready to go at it. That's a sandwich. Oh, wow. Now, I highly recommend the mayonnaise on there. Some people are not mayonnaise fans. It just adds this extra layer of creaminess to it, a little bit of tang, but oh my gosh, that brisket. And this is like the thin side, right? So it's not even the marbled side. Lots of great flavor. I mean, the bark that they're putting on there, it shines through a little bit of the pepperiness that's on there, the onions, everything. And that cheese sauce is where it's at. A little bit of extra provolone thrown on top as well. Toasted bread, y'all. This is why you need to come out here. This is this. I mean, you got to get all the desserts, all the good stuff too, and of course visit Fredericksburg. But man, this sandwich is definitely one of the reasons why. Put it on your list. This is delicious. And you're not doing it right unless you get peach cobbler when you're in Fredericksburg. This right here is homemade peach cobbler with a scoop of vanilla ice cream on top. I love it, you're in Fredericksburg, you gotta have the peaches, right? You gotta try it out. And they're making everything from scratch. You can see the top little crust there. That just, oh, it just cracks right into it. Gooey inside. This is one of my favorite desserts of all time. This, this is the bite, y'all. This is like the most Southern dessert that you can get next to pecan pie. Oh my goodness. Absolutely incredible crust that's on there. Sometimes you get it and it's too doughy. On here, it has a nice finish on there. So it's actually like a nice firm crust. On the inside, the peaches are just goopy. You got that really nice syrup that's in there as well. And the vanilla ice cream just finishes it off on top. And then they get one ahead. They're gonna warm it up for you, right? Put that scoop of ice cream on there. So you're getting that contrast, that cold, and that little bit of heat that's on there as well. It's steamy, it's delicious, it's sugary, it's peaches. That's very much Fredericksburg. This fun, family-owned barbecue joint is right off Main Street in downtown Fredericksburg. A fantastic spot to enjoy great food and great company. Now this is a barbecue joint, so you gotta make sure you get the barbecue, right? And right here, baby back ribs. All of that custom rub that's put on there as well. It's like a house recipe on there. A little bit of that Hawaiian influence as well. Give it a bite. texture on there, nice smoke ring. There you go. And then it also has a really nice sweet flavor to it. Now they're using mesquite out here, but you can tell that the sauce that's put on the outside of it, the rub, a little bit of brown sugar. I mean, this is killer, y'all. This is good, good, good. And you mix that with some of the mac, mac and cheese and some of the sauerkraut. In like Flint, baby, you're gonna be knocked out right there in the corner. Uh, we opened in January when uh, we took it over from another barbecue restaurant. Um, it was it was a trial and error. We learned a lot about cooking brisket. I mean, we've cooked it before, but not on such a big scale. And learning how to cut it and cook in a hybrid cooker that I've never cooked in before, that was very different. Um, it, it was different, everything was going good. And then in March, the pandemic hit, and it just kind of took a lot of stuff away from us. And we've strived to stay on, and we've got a lot of local support which we love our locals and that's why we try to give back to them. We donate to hospitals, we donate to the fire department, we donate to the police station. Uh, we try to give back as much as we can because they have kept us in business through the worst time possible to open a business. You guys gotta check out Lockenfelder Barbecue. Join out of here in Fredericksburg. The barbecue's killer, the sides are incredible. The peach cobbler is gonna make you pass out. So you gotta watch out, man. That thing is delicious. And you gotta get the baby back ribs. I think this is my favorite protein on the menu. Absolutely incredible stuff. And they're all so nice out here. You're gonna to wanna to spend the whole day, but you gotta go shopping too. I know, you're in Fredericksburg.
go anywhere. Texas Eats will be right back. Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're here on the north side of San Antonio in Stone Oak to go inside of a shop that's cooking up some amazing sweets. Let's go inside the Texas Cookie Shop. Joining us now is Jarrett Sorensen. He's the owner and founder out here at Texas Cookie Shop. And I am so happy to be here, y'all, because it smells like a dream in here, like a good old sugar cookie dream. But you have all kinds of different cookies that you're making here. The one cookie I really want to focus on, though, is a German chocolate cookie. Yes. Where did this recipe come from? So I've always loved German chocolate cake. When I was a young kid, I'd ask my mom for my birthday to make a wonderful German chocolate cake. And so this is basically that same kind of thing. So it's a, it's a house-made frosting with all the coconut, all the pecans, all the brown sugar and butter. And then uh, we also put a dark chocolate ganache on top as well. Mm. And so it really is kind of like eating the cake, but it's a cookie. This is the cookie right here. It's German chocolate cookie. Let me tell you, it's dense. You can tell it's That dense. is dense. It is. And now all this is made in house. Totally. From all, scratch. All of it. All of it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> if you love German chocolate cake, if you've ever had German chocolate cake and you kind of liked it, you got to try the German chocolate cookie. Change your life. This thing is delicious and it's loaded with all that icing on top. It is so good. And it's decadent. It's so heavy. Wow. Oh my goodness. You know what I love about this shoe? You fold it in half, and now you have a cookie taco. <laughs> <laughs> this is incredible. I'm glad you like it. I love the topping. The topping to me is so rich and so full of flavor. You guys know what you're doing. This is absolutely delicious. Awesome. I have to take another bite. Ooh. Now, you have a lot of different other cookies, but how did it get started? Yeah, we basically decided that we wanted to do something different. Our family has always loved to bake, and I've always loved to eat treats. And so this was basically a desire to make a treat that I would want to go out and buy somewhere. This is a family-owned business, which is so cool because all these recipes were built upon other recipes that they've had throughout their life, and now they get to come out here and share it with everybody here in the Alamo City. You can get them by the half dozen, by the dozen, or all by themselves. Yep. And you guys, these are big cookies. Okay, you only need one, but if you're, getting, if you're feeling crazy, you can get two. But really, it's just that one cookie. Is that the goal, is to make it so that like that one cookie is filling? Yeah, yeah, I mean, if you're an average person, yes. If you're an enterprising teenager, you may ask for two or three. And you have uh, the rotating flavors that you're gonna be doing kind of weekly, right? Correct. But right now, uh, what flavors are you offering? Yeah, today we're offering chocolate chip, a frosted sugar, a Texas Ranger, the German chocolate cake you talked about before, and then cookies and cream. Cookies and cream, talk mm -hmm. to me about that one. Yeah, so everyone loves an Oreo, right? So you take some Oreos, you crush those things up, you add some white chocolate into it, and then uh, create a cookie base around that. And then we also dip the very bottom into some white chocolate as well. This is not your average cookie. And I mean, like I said, I'll say it again, they're huge. Cookies and cream cookie. Look at the bottom of it. Look at the top of it. That's a fun cookie. It is. You don't really see that. Usually the icing or something's on, on the top, but you have it on the bottom there. It's kind of like a surprise. <laughs> I'll take a bite. Here's your foot. Y'all, if you love Oreos, like love Oreos, this is the cookie you need to get. The cookies and cream cookie is a cookie inside of a cookie. It's like inception of cookies. And then you have the icing on the bottom. It's probably one of the best cookie bites you're going to find in San Antonio. So you guys got to come out here, Texas Cookie Shop. It's right here in Stone Oak. It's near the Smoky Mo's over here. It's in the shopping center. Come check them out. Get your cookies. Get them by the half dozen, the dozen, or the six dozen if you're feeling really wild about it, okay? But thank you so much for having us in here. Absolutely. And it's, this is, it's cookie time, y'all. It's cookie time all the time. If that's not your slogan, you can have it. <laughs> Anytime is cookie time.
located right here off the St. Mary's Strip at the parking lot at Paper Tiger is a food truck that's serving up some of the best chicken in the Alamo City. Let's go inside Chi Chi Bird's Hot Chicken. Joining us now is Caleb Lott. He's the owner and chef out here at Chi Chi Bird's Hot Chicken. Thanks so much for having us out here. Thank you for having me. What items are we going to be trying today? Today you're going to be trying the fried cauliflower. You're going to be trying our burger concept, which we call Slam Daddy Baddies. We started these new things called the Crispy Boys. They're crispy hot chicken tacos. I think we're the only people in San Antonio making something like this. It smells delicious, and I'm really hungry, so let's do this. First item we have right here looks like an appetizer. Uh, what do we got right here? So this is gonna be our fried cauliflower. It's cauliflower that we get from the market. Cut it down, put it in buttermilk, let it soak for a little bit, marinate, then we serve it up with our bird sauce. Hot, fresh, golden goodness. Great flavor. The seasoning on there is all throughout, so it's a really nice, well-rounded bite when you get that. I mean, the texture. That's a really nice texture. The cauliflower is delicious. It has a really nice texture on there, but what I really like about them is that it's mobile. I mean, it's a food truck. You want to grab your food. You want to get it to go. It has a great flavor to it, and you got to get the bird sauce. That just sets it apart. You are a meat lover. I like me some chicken. I like a good steak. I would definitely jump to this, and I think this is a really good alternative, especially for people that are trying to be a little bit more healthy. On, on the healthy uh, meter, it leans healthy, but it's not like all the way healthy, okay? <laughs> This looks absolutely incredible. This is the burger that you have on the menu. Talk to me about what's going on in there. So basically it's just a simple cheeseburger. Two smashed patties, sliced, uh, thinly sliced onions, pickles, melted cheese, soft gooey bun. There you go. And now you got some sauce on the side. I know that's for your fries to dip in there, but I'm gonna add some more of that loving on there. Oh, please do. Look at that. Here we go. Bro. <laughs> You're looking for a really simple, no fuss burger that's just done right. You come out to Chi Chi Birds, yes, they're known for their hot chicken, but this burger is just outstanding. You're getting that nice crispy texture on the outside, nice and tender on the inside. You add that sauce in there, you put those pickles on there, that vinegar is gonna cut through everything, all the fat that's in there as well. So you're getting that perfect blend, the, the right bite, as I like to say. The bun is nice on there as well. It's simple, it's soft. This is simplicity done extremely well. From cauliflower and burgers, now we got tacos right here, and these look loaded. So these are our crispy shell that we make in-house, stuffed with our tuber cobra coleslaw, topped with our Nashville hot chicken, done with uh, salsa we also make in-house, and pickled red onions topped with bird sauce. This just looks like art. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna go for it. It's gonna be messy. We're gonna go for it. I think the spicy chicken works really well inside of the taco. You got the coleslaw in there that's a little bit sweet, almost has like a cinnamon flavor to it. And then on top you have that salsa that's just to die for. The texture alone on that nice crispy taco that you've made here in house, you can tell that's fresh. And then you get into the coleslaw, you doing it all, man. I'm, I'm very impressed with this. I think this is a really fun interpretation of what hot chicken can be. Wow. Yeah, bro, hold on, let me finish this. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Eggs Benedict. I think this is a really cool interpretation of that. Uh, talk to me about what's going on. It looks like you got the fried chicken though and you got some, some toast. What's going on? So instead of the traditional English muffin that you get, you get Texas toast because we are in Texas. You get hot chicken on top of that because it's southern. You get the fried egg. We're not doing post eggs because I don't have the equipment for it. <laughs> and then hollandaise. This looks absolutely delicious. So I'm gonna give it a bite. I'm not gonna use a fork. Go for I'm going for it. There we go. It's incredible, great texture on there, a wonderful flavor, subtle spiciness on there as well, but it's just more about the flavor. And then the Texas toast, toasted perfection. This is everything you want when you think of an Eggs Benedict made in Texas. This is it right here. The moment you take that first bite of the Eggs Benedict, that's gonna change your life. And it's a fried egg, so it has a really nice texture on the outside as well. It's a little bit crispy, and then the yolk is nice and runny. It adds that little bit of sauce all over it. It's like the perfect bite. This just smells spicy. Is this the Reaper wing that you have, or the Reaper like tender? Oh yeah, this is the natural hot Reaper status. I could imagine that this is uh, gonna be a little bit spicy, so thank you so much for having me out here today. Absolutely. Uh, you guys, you gotta find Chi Chi Birds. Follow them on social media if you wanna know more information about them as well. I mean, Instagram, you guys are on Facebook, you guys are all over the place. 
And uh, you can come over here, Paper Tigers, where they're posted up. And, um, but have some fun, come out here, everything's delicious. If you feel wild though, eat the Reaper wing. Here we go. Oh boy. If you're into spicy food, I dare you. I double dog, triple dog dare you to come out and try this and tell me that it's not hot. My soul feels a little burned after taking this bite. Do you have any cream? Oh, uh, no pickles. That's, I never have anyone order this. Oh, okay. It's too hot. Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're here on the west side of San Antonio to go check out a food truck that's making some of the most authentic Mexican food in the Alamo City. Let's go inside La Generala. Joining us now is Jeremiah, and he is the son of the chef and owner of the food truck out here. Thank you so much for joining us and yeah. for having us out here. Now you have all this delicious food that your mom has cooked up. She's a great cook. I mean, just you could just smell all this food. Did you grow up eating all this? Uh huh. Oh, nice. Yes. That's how you got so tall. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it worked out. Now this one right here is big. What is this called? Uh, this one is a mega quesadilla. It's with double tortilla. The tortilla is really uh, handmade. It's no maseca and it's la nixtamal. In Mexico, it's nixtamal, and mm. this is the the real tortilla. Is the salsa hot? Yeah, it's hot. The green is... is uh, Thanks for not lying to me. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, no, yeah, it's, it's hot. Ready. Here we go. It's good. That's real good. Woo! Yeah. This is absolutely incredible. I mean, the tortillas are alone, handmade, and you can taste it just in the bite. The texture on the inside, it's nice and tender, and on the outside, you have a nice little texture on there as well. And then you got this rocket meat on there. I mean, the two different kinds of meat that are in there. This is what a quesadilla should be. Look at this. I mean, <laughs> that's just goodness, man. And this is huge. This is one mega quesadilla. Yeah. If you have a mega appetite, you have to get the mega quesadilla. This thing is massive. Two layers of tortillas that are put on top of each other and just loaded up. This one is a taco. The breakfast taco is a green egg. Egg with the jalapeno. Egg with jalapeno, yeah, straight up. Yeah, with jalapeno. Okay. I thought there was a little bit more. No, it's yeah. egg and jalapeno. So this is the breakfast taco. This yeah. is like a breakfast burrito, bro. <laughs> Just opened up. Here we go. This is absolutely incredible. Once again, those tortillas, you can put anything on this on these tortillas. It's gonna be great. And and then the, the egg in there is so tender, it's cooked really well. Has a nice little texture on there as well, but then the jalapenos add that nice kick to it. It's simple, but it's simple done right, and it's it's just it feels like home. This feels like just good old home cooking. I mean, it's so simple. It's a little bit of jalapeno. It's a little bit of the egg that's in there. When you mix it together though, and you put some salsa on it, next level. It'll blow your mind. So this is the house special. This is the quesadilla with the chicharron on the inside. It looks incredible. Wait, here we go. Oh, wow. Whoa, this food is dangerous, y'all. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is sleepy time food. You wanna take a little nap nap, you take a bite bite first, and then you take a little sleepy sleep. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I'm just, I'm just talking gibberish. This is insane. It's salty, it's gooey, it's cheesy. It's got a really good crunch to it. It has a wonderful texture. And then I can imagine you put the, the hot sauce on there as well. Yeah, this is next level, right? Yeah, has to. Oh my gosh. This one is a uh, queso taco. This is a queso taco asada, and this one is ribs, the pork ribs with green sauce and frijoles. Frijoles del jarro. So I'm gonna go for the I'm gonna go for the one with the ribs in it, okay? Look at that. This is crazy. The meat is extremely tender on the inside. That rib meat, the the cheese, the beans, everything mixed together. I mean, incredible. Really good, subtle flavors, and the tortilla, once again, just seals the deal, man. 
Everything here is made from scratch. It's made by hand and it's made to order, which makes it really special, including the tortillas. It's absolutely crazy how delicious these tortillas are. And then this one, this is asada, que si taco. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Bro, this is loaded. Look at that. You guys aren't playing around. These are massive, y'all. I got big hands and that's like perfect David size right here. Here we go. This is the real deal. I mean, this is like as authentic, real, delicious as it gets. This is mind-blowingly delicious. It reminds me of home. It reminds me of just good comfort food. And you cannot go wrong with anything you order here. I highly recommend trying the asada quesi taco. This is where it's at. It's incredible. The onions, the cilantro, all the flavors on there. The mega quesadilla if you're feeling extra hungry. All of the tacos that are here on the menu are absolutely delicious. You cannot go wrong. I mean, this is special. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of Texas Eats. And to get more information on all the restaurants, plus a map of where to go, head to our website, ksat.com slash Texas Eats. And don't forget to follow us on social media at KSAT Texas Eats on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And join us every Saturday at 10 o'clock in the morning right here on KSAT 12, because this is how Texas Eats. Mm -hmm.